guys. So, what are your thoughts on torque steer with the Civic Si? Now, I have had the 2018 Civic Si, I've had the 2020. They really haven't redesigned the car that much in any way. But I feel like having the tune on this car, the 2020 Civic Si, makes torque steer a ton worse. And I know you're thinking like, well, duh, it's got a lot more power. It's a lot more pull to one side because of a lot more power. I understand that. But the torque steer on this car was supposed to be lessened because of the geometry of the suspension of this car. If you talk about Honda, they say, oh, well, compared to the regular Civic, it's got a completely redesigned suspension system. And I'd say that's true. Compared to my 2013 Civic EX, that thing was just awful. I mean, dry conditions, gave it the slightest bit of gas, and you're off in a ditch somewhere. It was like, the thing's got 140 horsepower. Why is it so bad? So it's definitely better. But I don't think they've made it as good as it could have been. They even did a step up for the Type R. And so Torque Steer still exists in the SI, but in the Type R it's almost gone. Which I'm glad of that because with a car with 300 horsepower that's front wheel drive, you don't really want Torque Steer. That would be kind of an awful, awful situation on daily driving it. But I feel like for the cost that it should have been for them to put that type of engineering into the design of this car wouldn't have been that much more expensive and it would have been such a dramatic improvement i mean i'm in sport mode right now and if i floored a little bit the car wants to go to one side like it doesn't completely take over the wheel and jerk you to one side like my other civic did but it definitely makes it a little uneasy with the tune. Now on a hotter day, it doesn't make as much horsepower, so it's completely different. I'm talking more like the days when I get up in the morning, it's 55, 60 degrees out, car's making a ton of power, boost is going strong because my engine's been warmed up and I'm finally giving it a little more gas. But how much would it really have costed them to upgrade the suspension just a little more to get rid of torque steer because a lot of people that have a Civic Si are driving it just how they got it from Honda. They're not doing much to it, maybe a window tin, maybe cold air intake, something like that. But for the other people on the other side of the spectrum, which is a huge number of people, because think about over the years how many people have taken a stock Honda Civic Si and given it a tune, more horsepower, a build engine, a giant turbo. Like, it's one of the cars that you buy and I'm pretty sure Honda doesn't expect you to keep it stock. They think, oh yeah, someone's buying this car. It's considered like a tuner car almost. And so that's what people are gonna do with it. Why would they not make the suspension able to handle any more horsepower than this car? It's kind of like the issue with Honda's clutches. And that's gonna be one of my next videos. So stick around for that one, make sure you subscribe. But Honda just kind of made things I, to the point where it lasts perfectly for what they've designed it to do. The second you want it to do something else, like say a zero to 60, 0.2 seconds faster. No, they didn't design it for that. Your clutch starts slipping, you get a, crazy amount of torque steer like I don't quite understand why Honda did that knowing that people were going to tune and modify this car in some way or another so let me know what you guys think let me know if you've had torque steer issues how you've settled it some people have said to put lowering springs on it and makes it a little stiffer so gets rid of a little bit of the torque steer but to me I think that you shouldn't have to do that just to get rid of a little bit of torque steer I mean at the same time, it makes the car look a lot better, better stance with it being a little lower, but I, I think it's definitely an issue Honda had with the 10th generation Civic. And I'm really hoping they fixed it, or do fix it for the 11th generation Civic. So leave a comment down below guys and let me know what you think of your Civic Si.